Hi, Eric Gibault, ericgibault.com and today I'm going to speak to you about a really simple filter, the famous UV filter, the typical filter many people put on their lens to protect it. So I'm going to present you this one by KF Concept. Let's start. This video is not about if you need or not a filter. Some people are against filters, some people are in favor of filters. I am in favor of filters because I do think, I do think they protect your lens, but in one big condition, it has to be a good quality filter. Otherwise, it's better not to have anything. Second, many people say, but you don't need a UV filter in uh, digital cameras because ultraviolet are not affecting your uh, sensor. It was okay with film cameras. And that's true, this is completely true. If you do uh, film uh, photography, very often in some situation, you need a UV filter. In digital, you don't actually need a specific ultraviolet filter uv filter it could be a plain piece of glass okay but my experience is that uh, i still recommend a uv filter why because uh, plain glass basic protector normally they don't they're not that good quality so as the anti-uv coating is not going to affect in any way uh, whether better or worse uh, your uh, digital photo no problem, you can put a UV filter because they are normally of better quality. So I'm going to open this one so you can have a look. As always, it comes in a box like this. This is a multi-size box. I'm going to place it on my uh, Fujifilm uh, X100V because this is the only camera I didn't have any uh, UV uh, filter already. So I could uh, finally review it because many people were asking for the, these uh, simple filters. So. Uh, because on the Fujifilm, if you want it to be uh, weather sealed, you need to, to have a filter, okay? So, when you open it, you can see the box is uh, good quality as always, okay? First thing you can check is whether it's uh, treated on both sides. So you look, there's always a bit of reflection, but what's important, you turn it like this, and you should have the same reflection on the back. If you have more reflection on the back, this is, this is a bad filter, okay? In this case, I get exactly the same reflection. So why do you need a coating on both sides? Special treatment on both sides and true reflection on both sides. Because when light is going through your filter, part of it will bounce on the front lens of your lens, okay? And if the back is not treated, it will bounce back again and bounce several times. So uh, sometimes you get the image double or triple. You can see that sometimes with a really uh, high point of light, like uh, sunset, for example, even if even with the best filters, sometimes you'll have to remove the filter because pot will bounce anyway, you will see a bit. If it's a bad filter, you see it even if there is no point of light. Sometimes you see double, like a ghost uh, picture. And this is the reason, okay. Something I really like on these filters, uh, because I've got other for, um, with this brand, okay, is you have really a grip here. So uh, very often people put a filter and they never remove it because the UV, they leave it there. And when they want to remove it, it's stuck, okay? This really helps. But anyway, I'm going to give you a tip I gave in another video. Anyway, if your filter, if any filter gets stuck, many people make a big mistake. They warm it up thinking it will be easier to take it out. Now, if you warm up metal, it expands and then it will be even more stuck. In this case, if it's stuck, what you can do is put a pla uh, your camera or your lens, depends uh, this one, the lens is together, okay? But you put it in a plastic bag so it doesn't get any humidity and uh, you put it in a fridge or in a freezer in a freezer for several minutes, in a fridge for several hours. So uh, what will happen is the metal will be uh, retract like this and then it will be a lot easier to get this out. And also there are some special uh, tool to open uh, the, the, the tap of a, of a glass mm, jar, okay? Like uh, you have jam or things like this, you can also use it to open. In this case, place a rubber band around so it will not uh, slide, okay? It will be a lot easier to open it. You can also use that, okay? But the freezing uh, system works uh, normally good, okay? So now I'm going to show you uh, some results to see that it doesn't affect and give you a bit more information about the, the filter. So I'm going to make a picture now. First, without filter, I'm on F2 to have a maximum aperture so we see if it uh, creates vignetting and also I shoot in RAW this time, no uh, film simulation so we have the purest uh, situation to see uh, what we get, okay, if, uh, if the field does affect or not. So first picture without any filter. 
So we filter, so I take out uh, the Shenzhen shade, I place it here, okay. I hope light has not changed too much, to, so there's no difference, okay, no, no uh, exposure difference, okay. Uh, by the way, what, you know, easily when you change something on your camera that it does not appear in the EXIF, like a change of filter, make a picture of your hand, so uh, you visually see it in Lightroom that uh, something new is happening, okay. I don't make this picture right now because I made it when I recorded in Spanish, I would be lost when I check this, okay. So let's make the picture with filter. So I knew the result before because I've been using it uh, for several days already when I received it. Okay, so I know there is no difference uh, with or without filter. It does not affect the image. Quality is good, so uh, I can only recommend this filter. So I'm going to give you uh, a bit of uh, information, technical information. It uses a glass that uh, gives a high transmission of light. Uh, very often people use, uh, forget this, that even lenses, sometimes you have two lenses at 2.8 for example, and uh, they don't seem to get the same light just because the glass they use is not uh, the same quality it's tr the transmission factor is not as high so uh, it's uh, the t factor it's called uh, it, you don't get the same thing okay so we feel it's the same thing so this one has a, a really good glass so you really get all the light so you don't uh, get any problem with it okay it is multi-coated with uh, 18 layers and these layers will protect several things UV, uh, uh, UV obviously, ultraviolet Anti uh, also it's uh, waterproof when a drop of water or rain falls on, your, uh, on the filter it will uh, slide so it doesn't stay there so this is really good same thing with dust, with dirt, with uh, grease this is really good as you could see it is uh, uh, and anti-reflection on both sides. It's also, also anti-scratch. So the quality is really good. The frame is metal. It's anti-corrosion, so it will be protected. The metal is really good. So the quality is uh, really good, as always with uh, KF Concept so far. So for many people who doubt in uh, getting a filter or not, because if you have a, a basic lens, a kit lens, a really basic one, very often it's a bit, uh, a bit reluctant to spend money on a filter that costs uh, the same or more of than the lens, okay? Uh, on other lenses I've got some filter that cost me like 80 euros and this one is a lot cheaper, a lot cheaper, so it is worth it. It is actually cheaper than some uh, bad uh, filters I've seen uh, from uh, unknown brands. So yes, I think uh, if you want to use a filter, I recommend you do, but you not obliged obviously but if you want to use a filter to protect your lens this is the filter to go for because price is great and quality is there so if you're interested in this filter i'll uh, leave you a link in the description where to buy it there are also more gear more tripod more filters more many things so thank you kf concept for sending me the filter and they also sent me more filters i will review to do specific things with this camera okay because some are already reviewed with my olympus but with the specific things with this one okay and uh, thank you to you for watching the video if you feel it may interest other people please share it on social networks if you have not done it yet please subscribe to my youtube channel the small button and here and also small bell if you click on the bell get notified when i upload a new video my website ericchibot.com if you have any question can leave a comment below I'll also leave you links of my gear on amazon links to all the gear i've reviewed by kf concept and Senmar and also a link to my PayPal account in case you wanted to make a donation. Thank you very much. Please take care of yourself and see you soon. Bye.